Today we're in Messina, New York, the Bass Pro Tour, Stage 5, the beautiful Thousand Islands region. We're at the tip of the zone. Uh, Messina is the end of the zone. We got 90 mile range and we're down here. So everybody that's running to the other end, and there's some really good smallmouth fishing throughout this entire thing. But a lot of guys are going towards the other end. It's very popular. It's closer to Lake Ontario. We are here for stage five of the Bass Pro Tour in Messina, New York on the famous St. Lawrence River. The drive up here was definitely my longest drive of the year as right about 28 hours. And you know, as I drive, the number one thing I do is I talk on the phone. If, if anyone's my friend, um, they probably hate it when I have these long car rides because I'm constantly blowing their phone up and I'm just, I'm just looking for somebody to talk to. So when I talk about my backstory, I can't help but start it with my dad. I grew up around the sport and, and, and got really a, a first class seat into what it takes and what the price is of, of being a professional angler. My dad was definitely my biggest inspiration. You know, seeing him accomplish his dream, and that was an event I actually, I practiced with him. So I, I really, really got to feel a sense of like I helped, even though I didn't. But you know, just to just to feel a sense of accomplishment with that, um, and watch him just—I mean, it, it was literally his childhood dream. It was probably one of the most special moments in my whole life slash career to this point. If you fast forward, where I really fell in love with bass fishing, I was always good at it, always did it a lot, grew up around it, but I never really thought of being a bass pro until I started fishing in my own tournaments. You know, I was 14, 15, 16 years old got my first taste of the competition aspect of it, of it. And that took something I really, really enjoyed and made it something I loved. You know, just really pushed me um, to pursue that as a career. And I can remember just the light bulb, just boom. Like, whoa, I, I might want to do this the rest of my life. The biggest single step I've made in my career was probably winning a, a Bassmaster Open back in 2016 on the Red River. From there, I ended up qualifying for the Elite Series and at that time, it was, it was the pinnacle, it was my dream. And that's, that's when I realized, you never know if you can make it. Um, and there, were, there was a lot more trials to come after that, but, but just to know I was gonna get my shot, it's one of those you never know if it's really gonna happen. I tried in 2015 to make it there and failed miserably. And you know, in the back of your head, you're like, well, do I really have what it takes to live this dream out? The fact that I tasted pretty harsh failure the year before made it that much sweeter to see the success and uh, never take it for granted. I can't imagine myself doing anything else. Overall, it was a great day. I caught 81 pounds. The bad news is I'm like 85 pounds off the lead. I'm like, how is that possible? But at the end of the day, to be in 14th place and to be around that many fish, I feel good about it. So I'm happy with my day one. Uh, I wish I go back out tomorrow, but unfortunately I gotta take a break. When they're biting like that, you wanna get back out there. Well, after 22 years of doing this, there's been a few days thank god it hasn't been a whole lot i've been truly blessed in this sport but there's been a few times whenever i wish i just completely had a do-over you got to keep this sport in perspective you're going to have good ones you're going to have bad ones you got to take it in stride i don't like it but uh it is what it is it happens and you got to work hard the next round